He's not hiding. Uh, Green Bay is currently an 11 and a half point underdog for Sunday night's game against Buffalo. If that holds, it'll be the first time Aaron Rodgers is a double digit underdog in his career. Stephen A, let me ask you this. Which ride wide receiver should the Packers go after? Uh, just like I said, OBJ with, with uh, Tampa Bay, I'll say it again with uh, the Packers. Listen, again, First of all, with the Packers, it's a little bit different. I talked about that emotional that emotional boost, that swag that Tampa Bay needs. In the case of the, uh, the Green Bay Packers, how about somebody that could just pay, catch the ball? I mean, how about, how about that? I mean, what, they had about 10 drops over yeah, the last yeah, two weeks yeah. or so? I mean, how about somebody that could just catch the damn ball? All right, that would be helpful. A veteran that could actually catch the ball, especially with somebody like Aaron Rodgers that's going to throw it to you and make you feel like you open most of the damn time because of his pinpoint passes. I definitely think OBJ would work in Green Bay as well. Let me say this, though. I side with Aaron Rodgers on this one, what he said. I really, really do. He, ne he never mentioned anybody by name. Come on, he man. He didn't. He didn't. We he, did. he didn't, Bart. Oh, he no, didn't. sure. He was talking about Randall Cobb. No, no. He didn't talk about anybody by name. He never mentioned anybody by name. There's an abundance of dudes that's messing up. Mm -hmm. And what he's saying is, listen, this we got to play better. This is unacceptable. They've lost three in a row. All right? That's not something he's accustomed to. And then he said, I'm right here. You damn right. That's what it is. <laughs> listen, the fact of the matter is he ain't hard to find. You got a problem with what he said. Come on, man. But, what, come on, what? What am I missing? Okay, if I'm Romeo Dobbs, I'm going to go to Aaron Rodgers. He'll have me shipped out of here before I get I'm sit in talking, my seat. I'm not talking about Romeo Dobbs. I'm just talking about collectively speaking. As yeah. a team, he called you out. The reason why he could say he didn't say any names is because as a team, you can approach him. You don't have to have a rookie approaching him. But as a team, you can approach him. And if as a team you approach him, what you going to say to him if you're the Green Bay Packers? What you going to say based on how y'all have looked? You can't say anything to Aaron Rodgers. Say he could play better, too. I'm say, yeah, no, exactly. no question about that. You could say that to him, but that's about all. Because his average, his subpar, is better than most. Well, I'm going to say attitude. That is a fact. I'm going to say attitude reflect leadership, right? And oh, we, we, God. Listen. No, listen, come on, man. All I've right, been in these situations. On, we, listen, he's a, he's, a, he's a finger pointer, okay. not a thumb pointer. Okay. And like to the point, it's, like a reason, it's, a, it's, it's a reason why he only has one Super Bowl. Right? It's the reason why former coaches and players have called him out. Now, he said he's tried a lot of different things. This is on him, mm -hmm. right? We have two great quarterbacks, okay. Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, both okay. in the same situation. You know, you, you got one loses Tariq Hill, the other one loses Devontae Adams. But what did Patrick Mahomes decide to do? He decided to bridge the gap between him and his receivers, his new receivers. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.